Jared Lorenzen was just like how many of us are today and how many more will be in the future. He had a loving passion for football, a passion that he loved so much and was so great at that he would play Division I at the University of Kentucky, where he would set school records for passing yards and touchdowns. Lorenzen was great at the University of Kentucky. With that said, he put his name in the 2004 NFL Draft, where he would then go on to be undrafted. Later though, he would be signed by the New York Giants organization as an undrafted free agent, eventually be named as their second string quarterback. The Giants did not use Lorenzen all that much. His first career game consisted of a QB sneak on third and one. In his second career game, well, you guessed it, it was a QB sneak on third and one. Mainly, New York used Lewinson to shift the pile and to keep starter Eli Manning from a potential injury. The funniest thing about all this, though, is that Lewinson weighed about three times more than Eli Manning, but he also ran about three times faster than Eli Manning could ever dream of. Lorenzen was a big boy who was constantly pushing 300 pounds at points even going above that. He technically could have tried out to be an NFL lineman. Nevertheless, though, the New York Giants kept him, and with that, he had his opportunity to show off his arm on September 9, 2007. Lorenzen came out in the fourth quarter against the Cowboys to replace the injured Eli Manning. He made his first queer regular season passing and rushing attempt, but failed to record a first down. Later on in 2007, he would be part of the New York Giants Super Bowl winning team, getting his first and only Super Bowl wing. Shortly after the Super Bowl win, the New York Giants would release Gio de Lorenzen, to which he would be picked up by the Indianapolis Colts. The team would later waive Lorenzen during the final cuts for the 53-man roster. He would never be on another NFL team again. Lorenzen would then find himself as the general manager of the Northern Kentucky River Monsters. He would later resign that position to become the team's starting quarterback. This is around the time where his nickname, the Hefty Lefty, really came into place. Lorenzen was pushing over 500 pounds, and he was throwing left-handed. He became a phenomenon due to his weight, but yet athletic ability to throw the football like a champion. Lorenzen would then suffer a broken tibia in week 2 of the 2011 season, which would eventually be a career-ending injury. Afterwards, Lorenzen decided that he needed to tackle his obesity, starting the Gio de Lorenzen project, where he would go on to lose 80 pounds within the first year. But he would never be able to win that battle though, as sadly, Gio de Lorenzen passed away on July 3rd of 2019.